Hello students, welcome in the world of biology with English sir. Thank you for giving me such a huge response. Some of you have asked me about double fertilization. So in this video, we are going to discuss about double fertilization. Basically, fertilization is the process in which male and female gametes are fused to give zygote ultimately the plant. It's a type of sexual reproduction. In fertilization, we have involvement of male gamete and female gamete. The male gamete is always smaller in size, will be called as microspore. Female gamete will always be larger in size, will be called as megaspore. Now, microspores of angiosperms or all plants, flowering plants, are produced on androsium. Androsium will produce microspore. It will have microspore mother cells, which will undergo meiosis and after meiosis, from one microspore mother cell, we'll be having four microspores. Microspores are also called as pollen grains in case of angiosperms. Now, this pollen grains has two layers structure. The outer layer is called as exine, which is tough, made up of sporopollenin, which is discontinuous also. The inner layer is called as entine, which is a continuous one. Now the enzyme shows discontinuity in the places where there is a formation of a pore called as germ pore. Now from the same germ pore, the pollen tube is going to emerge. First, this microspore undergoes mitosis. From one cell, we have two cells. One will be called as generator cell, other will be called as tube cell. Now generator cell is smaller in size, tube cell will be larger in size. So in this condition, we have cell within cell, right? Large one is larger one is tube, and smaller one is generative. Now tube cell is larger because it has nutrients, it has vacuoles which are lacking in generative. That's why it is small in size. Now in most of the angiosperms, pollen grains are shed out at this place only. In two cell conditions, pollination will take place. After pollination. The pollen grain will land on suitable receptive stigma. With the help of sugary secretions of those stigma, pollen grain will germinate. The tube cell, uh, tube cell will form a tube. The entire will break. It will, form, it will form a tube, which again will form a longer tube. Now, by doing so, by during this process, this generative cell again undergoes mitosis from one cell we have two cells so by the end we have two nucleuses here then are two nucleuses which will be acting as a male gametes the tube cell initially shows path for the development of pollen tube and then it's uh, then it gets it gets degenerated now about uh, female gamete that's megaspore its megaspores are produced in ovule basically we are not going to talk about the structure of ovule in ovule, we have micropyle, we have nucellus. Now, nucellus are the tissue in which we have uh, soft tissues. In the nucellus itself, one of the hypodermal cell acts as a archesporium, which acts as a micros megaspore mother cell. Now, the megaspore mother cell will undergo meiosis, will form a linear tetrad. Now, three of the four uh, daughter uh, haploid cells will get degenerated, and leave only one at micropylar end will be functional. And this cell at micropylar end will again undergo free nuclear division. It means the only nucleus will divide, there will be no division of uh, cytoplasm and no wall formation. After first the nuclear division, you will get two nucleated stage. In this two nucleated stage, after two nucleated stage, you have emergence of central vacuole so that both the nuclei will move on both the poles. After moving to the both poles, they will again undergo mitosis and from these two nuclei, you will be having four nuclei. Now, at maturity, one of the nuclei from each pole, one of the nuclei from each pole will migrate towards the center and they will form secondary nucleus. Now, when this, this is called as megaspore. Now, female gamete in case of angiosperm is now having eight nucleuses and seven cells. This will undergo war formation. Three of uh, micropolar end nuclei will become egg apparatus. Out of those egg apparatus, will be having two synergies and one is egg. And remaining three, which are at the far end of micropyle, will be antipodals. 
Now what happens in our fertilization? We have two nucleated male gamete. We have one fertile egg in megaspore. We have secondary nucleus in megaspore. So one of the nucleus from male gamete fuses with the egg and other nucleus of a male gamete fuses with secondary nucleus which was already deployed. So after fertilization you will get one nucleus here, this cell will be triplo will be triploid, this cell will be deployed, it, will, it is going to form your zygote and this triple, triploid cell will be going to form your endosperm. Now triploid endosperm is possible in angiosperm just due to double fertilization. So we'll define double fertilization is the fertilization in which one male gamete fuses with egg to give zygote and another male gamete fuses with secondary nucleus to give triploid endosperm. Now this is all about double fertilization in case of angiosperm. Now remember double fertilization is only present in angiosperm. It is not present in gymnosperm. In gymnosperms, you have only single fertilization. So it's all about double fertilization. If you like my video, please subscribe my channel. If you have any queries, if you have any suggestions, you can email me on my email ID, which is Puru Ingle Fayo, P U R U I N G L E Fayo, numerical Fayo, at gmail.com. Thank you.